Sanity, dot, dot, dot. Daniel's not doing well, is he? It's coming. I'm afraid it's too light here. How the fuck am I gonna get out of here now? Run, man, run. Come on, Daniel, run. Oh, God, that fucking... Okay, so, yeah, we've actually seen monsters. Monsters have seen us. We've got acquaintance. Jesus. So what we need to... Do? Oh. Castle's freaking out again. Does that mean that... Yep, red stuff all around now. But that's good. That means we're making progress, doesn't it? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Okay, so <sighs> there's like a red tumor in the ground there, and this is blocked off now. That's fine. We only need to go to the machine room. I'm gonna shut this door behind me. Hopefully, we don't have to go in there. And then we can go to the machine room. Sure, I want to, but that's what the game wants me to. He's a junkie using sedatives. Of course, the machine room is all dark and shit. How does my... Eh, I'm fairly alright, I guess. Close. Somehow. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed. Yeah, it's probably your fault. Machine information. Hmm. Okay. Pressure. So I want to check the notes I had on this. Uh, back. Uh, up, down. I don't know. I have no idea if if this is right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. So it can be anything really. Didn't it say... No, we don't have eight. 
middle position there. I'm just gonna close this for a sec. Don't want no surprises. And just light this, I think. I have plenty of tinder boxes. And there's one more. Two more, actually. Come on. It's right there. Pick it up. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to read it again because I tend to read it, you know, too fast for my own good. <sighs> The meter should read up eight, down eight. Okay. Eight is no, we don't have eight. Let's just try and make eight. Like this. And this so Nothing's happening. Pressure. Okay, is there any others of this? No. Maybe we'll come back to that later. Oh, we have a clue. Sick. Need to put out a cigarette here. Hmm. Don't like this wind. Come on. I'm sure you could push that open yourself. There's another contraption. Okay, let's try and use these then. They're rods. Not that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the yellow damaging mission, only to only discard the ones without badly damage and keep the others in the inner strata. Yeah, we got that one from the inner study. Okay, so maybe that just activates the whole thing then. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. <coughs> Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. So we're what in do Prussia. Make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. Yeah, I'm done reading now. Okay, so we activated that whole thing there. Gotta check my oil. Running somewhat low on oil though. There's a run button, but I'm too scared to use it most of the time. July 1839. <coughs> How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect. Baron Alexander. Cockwheels, cockwheels. Yeah, okay. Did you see there's a globe over here? Cockwheel. 
Okay. Can check here. Oh, good. Ah. Uh... Anything in here? Except for dung. Tinder box. Come on. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see where the cursor is. That's alright. That's alright. Okay, there, there's bound to be another cockwheel somewhere. Don't like that sound. I need two more cockwheels then. Something to be burned down there, perhaps? Steam pressure. Okay, can we find any cogwheels then? This one. One more. Is it because I'm too gutsy now that I'm just uh, running around here? I checked all the rooms, so. But that doesn't mean that there couldn't be uh, monsters here. They have a tendency to spawn at random locations, I think. And all the growling doesn't really help. Right, so let's attract some monsters, I guess. Need more work before it'll run. What more work could it need? Find a way to start the engine that powers the. Yeah, then I probably need to do something to the. Um, Yeah, I need to build up some steam pressure. This is probably steam pressure. So if I close that. 